So I'm there, I'm cleaning, I'm doing my job. A couple of days into it, I say, hey, Father, listen, my brother apparently is in the singing room. And they got a new uh, cassette tape for the younger kids. I'll explain to you what those are later. <laughs> but they, they, they sell them cassette tapes like Power Records. And I'll explain what Power Records is to you later. <laughs> and, and I said to him, Father, you know, I've been a terrible big brother. And I would really love to be able to support my little brother in this, in this endeavor. Could you bring me a cassette tape? And he did it. And I was like, and I wasn't like, oh, I'm so grateful. I was thinking, oh, what am I going to get him to smuggle next? That's the way my mind worked. And so he brought the cassette tape, and he was kind and generous always. And then he says to me after a couple of weeks, hey, listen, I need the chapel clean, spotless, on Sunday mass. He said, why don't you come on Saturday, and you can clean after the mass, the vigil mass. And I said, okay, Father, I never saw the move. I never saw the hustle. I'm back. I'm in church. I'm in mass, right? And I remember sort of that feeling that I had as a young man come back to me, right? Like, I'm not worthy of this. I don't belong here. I don't understand this. I didn't know the prayers. I didn't know the responses. I didn't know when to steal, stand. I didn't know when to kneel. I didn't know anything. But I used to sit next to a guy named Michael, and I, I won't tell you his last name. But I mentioned the movie The Town earlier, and Michael was from Charlestown. And Michael was from a gener uh, multiple generations of bank robbers. A very, very dangerous man. He was also a very Catholic man. Crazy, that, as it sounds, right? That was his career choice. That's the way he looked at it. That was his career, and he had his faith, and they were separate. 